So my name is Abby Sarmak. I'm a program officer with the Lemelson Foundation. I wanted to just provide a little bit of um, the perspective of the Lemelson Foundation, introduce you a bit to what we do, just so you understand the perspective of where we're coming from, in particular with the, the community's track. So um, the Lemelson Foundation was started by Dorothy and Jerome Lemelson. Um, Jerome Lemelson was one of the most prolific US inventors. He had over 600 patents to his name, but he struggled his whole life to be recognized for his inventiveness. Um, and the ecosystem did not work for him. Uh, he had the drive, the passion, the, the ideas, very much like all of you in this tent today. Um, but things did not work for him. He struggled his whole life, and it was really only late in his life that um, he was recognized for his ingenuity and had a fortune to show for it, and so started the Lemelson Foundation to support people like him, to support other inventors, other entrepreneurs who really believed that scientific, engineering, technologically-based um, uh, innovation is a driver for economic change um, and socioeconomic improvement. So, that is where the Lemelson Foundation comes from today. We promote invention to improve lives, um, science engineering based enterprises to improve lives uh, specifically. So, um, related to the communities track, uh, after eight years of grant making and investment directly into science and engineering based businesses that serve the poor and improve lives around the world, um, we've come to several characteristics of enterprises that we find are most successful. Um, uh, these enterprises, successful enterprises, have four main characteristics. And the first is, we are about science technology, but their stuff works. Their um, products, their engineered solutions, they work. They're based on sound science and sound engineering. Um, secondly, they're addressing a really well-defined basic human need. And this is not just kind of a, you know, a definition you could read in a book, but it's a almost almost anthropologically understood uh, uh, need for a particular community in a particular context. Um, thirdly, these solutions, we have the particular bias, as many of you do, that these solutions are driven and disseminated by an entrepreneurial solution. Um, there, it's got a great business model. And then finally, what links us to, to the communities track and the sessions we're involved in, um, there is constant iteration, typically through human-centered and customer-centered design across all three of these elements, the product, the people, and the, the business. Um, and the session tomorrow in particular, the 5.30 session that, that we're all on, um, we're going to be looking at two really amazing examples of, of these types of enterprises, both um, Farmerline, uh, and uh, Playa Viva, that David will talk about a little bit more. Um, yeah, I hope that we can talk a bit more all together with you all during that session. Thanks. <laughs>